Hi, I'm Ralph, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to be talking about scrambled eggs. Now, I know it seems like a very simple meal, but there's a lot of people out there asking how to make scrambled eggs. And quite frankly, it is the perfect one ingredient meal. So this is a great place to get started. So with that said, let's get to it. For a whisk, I'm going to be using a fork. Everybody, even the first people coming out of college and getting their first apartment, will have a fork, typically, and a cereal bowl. Using a uh, skillet over here, non-stick surface. I've already got the heat started. On a scale of one to 10, I've got it set on a four, so a little bit less than the medium heat. I'm gonna do three eggs, and I've got a pat of butter. This is, you know, the type that you'd pick up from, you know, your local restaurant for a takeout meal if it's got biscuits in it, you know, so that's all the butter you need. I do prefer real butter, not margarine. I'm using a paper towel folded up here because I don't like to get any raw egg on my countertops. Take the egg, kind of hold it in your hands, spread it between like the first three fingers on your hand and, and just kind of hold it, gently tap it against the counter and put it over your bowl. That just gives you a little bit of a crack in the egg, enough to kind of break it open the rest of the way and get it into the bowl. Done. Next. Simple. In the meantime, you're looking for any parts of the eggshell that might have fallen in with the eggs. So far, so good. We're doing great. That's all there is to it. And no raw egg on my countertop to clean up. Got my fork, my whisk. We are going to break open the, the eggshells, or not the shells, the, the yolks, I'm sorry, and just kind of get them all mixed up. But you don't have to worry about it being an all totally yellow mixture. It can have a little bit of the white swirls in there. That's okay. At this point, I'm going to put the butter in there. You can hear the sizzle. At this point, you want to be running that around the edge of your pan. Make sure you have a good coating. You want it to be hot enough where you actually see that little foam being formed by the butter in there. The butter is also going to be helping to add to the flavor. Just another quick little freshening up. You don't want to do this ahead of time or you'll get nasty looking eggs. Just drop it in like so. Use just a simple spatula at this point. Just work it all throughout the pan. You have to keep it moving. Go from the outside in, work it across. You could even move the pan around a little bit. This is not going to take very long at all. Even with three eggs in there, this is going to go quick. I can even turn that heat down a little bit more. In fact, I can probably even turn it off at this point because the pan is hot enough, it's going to continue cooking. Eggs are a great source of protein. One of the best out there. That is just about it right there. Going to bring a plate over. Drop it onto the plate. That's what it looks like. Perfect. Can you ask for anything better? I don't think so. This is gonna make for a great meal. So until next time, please subscribe, like me down below, 
There's not a whole lot to the ingredients, one egg, or the directions, but I will put something down there below for you to, to look into. So thanks for joining me again. Please consider subscribing. Thanks again. Bye-bye.